was staying in um, the nation's capital, the leadership of the House of Representatives says it will decide an appropriate ruling regarding a motion for the release of IPOB leader Namde Kano. This is as the lawmakers get ready to host the winner of the 2023 Cambridge Teachers Awards, Akim Badru. National Assembly correspondent Jake Adisa reports. Emotions bordering on insecurity and indiscriminate killing of innocent citizens still dominate the other paper. One of them is the call for the intervention of security agencies in parts of a Boeing state. In the process of amending the prayers of the motion, a member moved that IPOB leader Namdi Kanu be released to bring about relative peace in the southeast. Those in support of the motion as amended, as this amendment should say aye. aye. And the house was thrown into some disorder as lawmakers took positions. The amendment should be to urge Mr. President to use political intervention, diplomatic intervention, asking for his mercy to release Namdi Kano. We are, let's please respect our laws. I will invite both the minority and the majority leaders so that we can consult and see the point, what the point of law says. The House has commended this year's winner of the Cambridge Teachers Awards, Akim Badru, for making Nigeria proud. It also canvassed a national recognition for the teacher as it prepares to host him at a special plenary session. Akim Badru, as a Teach SDG ambassador, funded the construction of a borehole to address water-related diseases, thereby contributing to the achievement of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. Erosion is still ravaging the southeast, and a number of motions are moved to address the menace. This is a motion on the urgent need to carry out reconstruction works on the fed portions of the Oba, Newi, Oga, Aguata, Arondizog, Okigwe, Federal Road, in Idemili North and South, Newi North and South. On account of a motion by Lagos lawmaker Kafayat Ogbara, the House called for implementation of the Disability Act to achieve inclusion. The House resolves to urge Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to consider allotting 10% of appointed positions for the physically challenged persons in Nigeria. Worried by the outbreak of diphtheria in the country, legislators unanimously passed a motion calling on the federal government to contain the disease and arrest further fatalities. Jokke Edsa, TVC News, Abuja. Let's turn to the court now. The Supreme Court has obtained the conviction of Senator Peter Wambushi, who represents Delta North, and he is sentencing to seven years imprisonment for offenses of fraud and money laundering. The APS court ordered his immediate release from Ikoi Correctional Center in Lagos, where he's currently being held. The court also freed the two companies, Golden Touch Construction Project Limited and Swimming Electrical Limited, tried with him on a two-count charge brought against them by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. In a split decision of four to one, the Supreme Court set aside the July the 1st, 2022 judgment of the Court of Appeal Lagos, which had reversed their discharge and acquittal by a federal high court in Lagos. In a lead judgment by Justice Emmanuel Agim, the APS court held that Senator Wambushi and the two companies were unjustly and maliciously prosecuted by the EFCC for committing no offenses known to law and subjected them to criminal trial in relation uh, civil transaction needlessly.